this lesson I uh, would like to show you the difference between global settings and chop settings and how you can save chop settings uh, so you can recall it at a later instance. So in global settings we basically have our company defaults here uh, what you normally use for your carcass material, pack material and so on. Um, uh, especially heights, you might have a standard kick height that you always use, 140 in this case. 900 bench top is pretty universal. Um, and also some uh, construction method that you generally use. But for certain jobs, uh, you want to change this. In job settings, you have your specific settings for each job. And uh, it also gives you the option to save them. So in this particular job here, we change the carcass material to 16 millimeter. Uh, we have a different construction method here, uh, screw and dowel, because that's what uh, that uh, particular customer uh, uh, requires. Uh, the kick height is only 50 millimeter. So when you create your 3D, you will see this has been uh, the 50 millimeter uh, kick base here and uh, the 16 millimeter carcasses. So that's for these particular job settings here. So once you finish, move on to the next job, you probably want to save these settings in case you have to go back. You go into job settings and uh, you give them your, uh, the job number. In this case, we choose triple uh, three. Um, you can name, enter the client, uh, the work order would be 01 uh, in this instance. So you can save this in your uh, in your uh, job folder here. So we have a, a job called triple three work order uh, zero 01. So you save this as triple uh, three job setting. Job settings. Once you move on to your next job, you probably want to reset uh, your job settings to your standard company settings. So you simply press reset to global settings. So as you can see now, the carcass material is 18 mil, your kick height is 140 millimeter. Press OK. Let's quickly delete the the cabinet. So let's assume you move on to the next job and you create your uh, 3D modules now. So as you can see, uh, it's a much thicker carcass here, 18 millimeter, and the kick base is now 140 millimeters high. So that's your, uh, that's your settings here, uh, the ones we changed. So you can go and say, okay, uh, this is job number triple four. You save uh, the work order here and you save it as. You go your job folder here, triple four, and you save this as uh, job settings, triple four job things. So you can recall them at the later stage. Let's delete all cabinets again. Now you want to go back and want to do an add-on to your uh, uh, job at the, your triple three job, your previous job. So uh, what you need to do is in the job settings, you open your file, and that's the ones we saved. Triple three here, we are called the zero one. So you want to get this job settings back. Press open. As you see, you got your 16 millimeter carcass again. You got your screw and dowel construction, your 50 millimeter kick. So you can just go populate all, and it will do it with uh, the job settings. In this case, job settings triple three, work order zero one. So that's an easy way of uh, keeping track of your uh, job particulars. 
and uh, you don't need to enter them every time um, you make a change or so, so you can simply recall them. So I strongly recommend to save this. That concludes lesson 20, and uh, thank you for watching.